Hey, since they added the vlog, we've been invited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two tone glock and his cousin, man. Baby trouble when we came from the Russian guy. Stay in the trap. No, you can't come inside. Standing on me, they know who put the gun inside. Look at me now, I'm feeling like bust around. Who got a pound? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's July 4th. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I'm on the clock right now. I know y'all ain't seen me in a minute. But I've been getting to the bag. I'm back. Never left. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm on the clock right now. It's July 4th. I figure why not, you know, good mood. We getting that time and a half, so I'm on the clock all day. But, um... Yeah, so I figured I'd make a video, like, why not? I'm on my little 15 right now, so I'm gonna take advantage of this 15. And we gonna do a mukbang or something. I'm, I'm gonna just chat, I'm gonna chat. So we got a smooth, we got a smooth lunch. Packed by Gma. Should be on two. We got a sandwich, so I'm gonna unbox it. Can't forget about the Snapple, bro. The Snapple, if you know, you know. The Snapple go crazy. And they go down like water. But, um, yeah. We're on break right now. About the club. See, like I said, I just been getting to the bag, you feel me? Ooh, we can chat. But yeah, I been getting to the bag, you feel me? <laughs> Top five. Put me on the clock, throw me in, coach. Make it back it up, beep beep. Yeah. Mm. Go to family crib. You know, food, that wine pack. Um, fireworks, of course. Mm. Mm. I wonder if the sound is through the AirPods or the phone. That's crazy. Let me get the chips. So once I get off, go show with family for the rest of the night. Let me turn up. It's lit. Also, uh, it's my boy Ron birthday today. So happy birthday to my boy Ron. Tee up. Let me keep running it up. Stay safe out here too. But um, yeah, I know I've been going for a minute, but like I said, I just been running it up. Me, YouTube ain't paying me yet, but you know, if I was doing it just for the money, I would have been quit. So we know that's not the case. But yeah, if I was homeless tomorrow, YouTube would not be hitting me up. Talking about come to the headquarters. Been going for a minute, but I still been seeing the support on the videos, the comments, the subs, all of that. Um, I saw a comment, comment down below if this is you. That's how I know you're really dedicated to the videos, and it's it's not even what you was asking for. But I saw the comment. They was talking about. Um, I put it. But it was like do more uh, videos of like unboxing, like clothes and stuff like that. And it's crazy because I got like over a band worth of clothes that y'all ain't even seen yet. Crazy drip. But um, also I've been on this like, it's kind of weird for me to be honest. Not really weird, but it kind of is because I'm used to like, you know, I'm used to being open. You know, especially on Snap, like, let's say I get something new, right? I'll post it on Snap, which nothing is wrong with that, but for some reason, I still want to, but it's kind of like a discipline thing. And like I said, there's no reason, like, there's nothing wrong with posting, but i just been on, like, that low-key. I've been trying to be on that low-key vibe, like... Oh, if I get something new, I ain't gotta post it. Like I'll, I'll show a few people like that I'm close with or something. Like, look what I got. That I will chat about it. Feel me? Like I got hella new stuff. 
that I ain't even post like nobody know. But I kind of like I kind of like the uh, the low key lifestyle. But it's crazy because I want to be a public figure, but you can still be a public figure. Imagine being a public figure, but like your life is still low key. But and that's possible. I know people like that. Like they pop in, but you don't see nothing. Like you don't hear nothing about them if they not posting. They had their own life, yo. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it for me, like, the low key. Like, I'm working, I'm getting bread. Two years ago, I would have been flexing. Now, it's like, not not bragging, but people know I dress nice. People know, like, people know. People know what it is, so. I don't need to, like, do a lot. It's like, if you know, you know. If you don't, you know. What I mean for, like, you know, the B-Day coming up. July 18th, if y'all ain't know. I gotta... I gotta make the... I gotta... I gotta do it to him. But, um... Yeah, so... And generally, I just been chilling... Working, we into the bag. Before it's time to go back to school. Brush, bro. Crazy. Whole bunch of stuff going on, bro. Make sure I stay safe out here. Move smart. Learn from your mistakes. Don't repeat the same mistakes. You know, every day. Changes for the better. Just running it up. But with everything going on today. live life to the fullest y'all know corona whole corona thing happened messed up everything i was supposed to bank in my license last semester but i was playing then i was supposed to definitely do it this semester i mean no i was definitely supposed to do it this summer i meant but corona happened messed everything up so i figured i'm like i bet before Corona even happened, it's crazy because before Corona even happened, I had all this planned out. Coming to New York, working for the summer, getting up. Like, it's the smartest decision financially. Come on. Way before Corona started, then Corona popped off. Everybody like, oh, found out. Oh, I, I, you going to New York? I'm like, yes. Like, I had this planned out way before Corona. I can't, like, these plans, like, that I had, like, what I'm doing right now, and I'm gonna talk about it after, but, like, it's crazy how everything, like, fell into play, but, like, these plans, I've been had planned out, and for them not to fall through would be a big L on my part, for me not to let them fall through, even some, like, corona, but I, w- I didn't, I had, a, when I have a clear mindset, like, when, I, when I'm focused on a task at hand, I complete the task. To the best of my ability. <clears throat> oh, you got your damn, you know we got Chinese food today. Oh no, I'm on my fifteen. Oh. So I didn't like I don't be eating anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this. Later like two or three, I go on my forty five and I'm just making sure. I'm about to say, don't play yourself and buy food where you got free. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I got to bust this down, though, right um, now. Let me make sure you saw oh, that. They did Chinese. I don't know if I told you. Uh, I believe it was there. You did not I don't know if I told you. They got Chinese for us today. Because we've been doing good as a team. But all this stuff going on, I don't know who I did was to get Chinese. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, copy that. Time. No problem. What was I saying, though? Yeah, I had everything planned out before I came. And, um, yeah, Corona popped off. And everybody, oh, New York was hot. New York was on fire. I mean, we not the highest now because everybody else started opening up and, you know, whoop, whoop. But, yeah, New York was on fire. Everybody, oh, you going? I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm a course. I'm going to take proportion. Like, it's serious, like, deadly. But I'm not about to, like, I'm good is what I'm saying. Precaution, mask, all that good stuff. Yeah, it is serious though, but um, I had everything planned out. 
it was the smartest move financially. And with coronavirus, you know, the whole, it was a process. I had to go back to school, move out. Thankful for everyone that, like, ever, like, helped me out. Because um, I'm also, I'm jumping around. But, like, I appreciate everyone that has helped me in the process. Not even just this process in general. Because, like, I'm working right now. I'm trying to get the whip. So, once I get the whip, the next thing, a place to stay. Because once I get the whip, I'm really on my time anymore. I'm really on my time. I'm on my own time. And it'll be convenient in general. Be like I was saying, it's crazy how everything fell into play. Like, flight went into play. Started looking at places way before I even left. So, I had job applications. And mad people hit me up. But Target came through. As soon as I came. Next couple days, I was going to the interview. Next couple days, orientation. Next couple days, after day after orientation, one o'clock. So within a week, I was working. Bro, at this point, like, y'all just start hitting me up for like, and I don't know everything. I be hitting up other people for advice too. Shout out to my boy Shlita. He probably don't watch my videos, but anyway. Pull me wrong. But y'all need to start asking me for some advice. <clears throat> some of y'all mindset is like, and don't get me wrong, I know how you feel. Like, it's all mental. Like, right now I'm trying to get a whip. Of course, like, you know, like, fashion and all of that stuff we wrapped around the head, and, and I'm still in it. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I gotta buy me a few nice things. But, like, really, like, what's more important? The shoes? Or the car I wanted a gold chain But like I can't spend a thousand on a chain With no car That don't make sense I'm just chatting right now We had ten minutes though I ain't got no ads anyway So we gonna go over But all in all I mean like Yeah I've been chilling um, I'm gonna definitely make a vlog after work, so that's two videos. Sort of comments about like how I should um how I should do more unboxings and stuff. Like I said, I got so much stuff that I could show y'all. But at first, I was like, I don't really want to make a video because like I don't really want to show everybody what I got. But at the same time, Snap is different. Like Snap is really people that be around me. Everybody don't watch my YouTube channel. Which I don't really care. But I'm thinking. I'm thinking how I should do it. Should I do one item at a time per video? That's the smartest way. But I could do it conveniently all in one. And just show everything I got. But I might break it up. I, I honestly don't know yet. But I feel like when I get back to school, all my stuff will be in one area. So I could easily do the video. I'll be back to school. I actually fly out of New York. July 23rd. My last day at work will be the 22nd, you feel me? Bro, I'm getting it back. I mean, that basically sums it up. Also. Shannon. <laughs> Shannon. I got a question from a great friend of mine. Worked at Chick Fil A, and she was like, she wanted to uh, start YouTube or whatever. Then you should definitely like. I really can't wait to see the like. I know that like, you gonna make great. I know the video is gonna be entertaining, funny, like all of that. So I'm actually like interested. I'm like I'm waiting. But um, yeah, yeah. She asked me like, how do I get comfortable with the camera? And I'm gonna speak on this before I slide. But um But um Yeah, so like at first you feel me? You know it's kinda weird. And this is crazy because like all my friends, right? Just how I do YouTube in general. All my friends, like let's say we out somewhere. I don't know, let's say we in a store. Gotta ask like a work or something. 
they'll be like they want me to do it. Like I'm the YouTuber. Like I'm like yo. Like really. But like even like though the craziest part about this, that's not even bad. Presentations and stuff like that, like don't do good with me. But I'm getting better and better. Like being an RA and like in college in general, I've been put in more situations where I had to speak. So I mean, it's kind of like getting better and better. But yeah, like I don't like talking in front of people. But like, um. Yeah, people, when I do a presentation, people be like, oh, you do YouTube, you should be fine. I'm like, no, like, doing YouTube, like, I'm literally, like, I'm literally talking to my phone. I'm talking to my phone. You feel me? It's way different. Anyway, back to what I was saying, like, how did I get used to being on the camera or whatever? It's like, at first, don't get me wrong, it is kind of weird for me talking to a camera, especially in public. People be looking at you, especially like if you're not in like, if you're not in like LA or something, or like where people be like vlogging and stuff. I feel like you'd be looked at as like weird, especially in like North Carolina. But um, yeah, like um, at first it is kind of weird, you know, you got you used to it. I watch my old videos, cringy, <laughs> but now it's like, hmm. As I saw, like, people comment and the support and the subscribers and, like, people actually like the videos, commenting, like, really benefit a lot of people on a small scale as of right now. So, like, once you get that uh, positive feedback, the, uh, I guess, nervousness or whatever you want to call it, it, like, kind of, it vanishes because it's like, you truly, deep down inside, know, like... I don't know. I guess people watching and they really like they appreciate what you do. Like if I made a review on Supreme, like it's crazy the fashion over video. It's in the uh it's under twenty thousand. It's over ten thousand though. I'm not really sure. But um yeah, a lot of people will always be commenting like I'm this size, what size should I get? And I'd be recommending But like I got them It's no sponsor I got them so many sales too Even the Supreme videos Like I got like People will comment like Thanks for the review Like I just bought it Because I watched your video That I bought Whatever but yeah like over time Like right now I'm just chilling chat But yeah like I'm just talking to the camera Like over time You'll get used to it Find your purpose. Gotta do the YouTube because you love it, not for the money. Like I said, if I was doing YouTube for the money, I would have quit a long time ago. But yeah, I'm a big influence. So I'm kind of still doing what I love, just on a smaller scale. Yeah, with that being said, I'm about to head back out. <clears throat> I think I exceeded my time. Because uh, yeah. I put in the work. But yeah, I'm about to get out of here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel. Check out the other videos. I got all the type of videos, man. Just find one you like. I will see y'all later on today after work. Fireworks, that wine pack, all that. I'm out. Oh, this bad lighting. I'm out. I'm gonna edit this too and cook it up. Get it up, yeah. Get money, dig it down. If I walk, paper trail. If you don't like me, feel bad. Oh well, just sign the new dad. That's a mill, 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 that's a mill.